When I send Bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet, what actually occurs? What happens is this. The Bitcoin and other Bitcoins sent around the world are routed to the unconfirmed pool. Your transaction is currently marked as unconfirmed. It must be added to the blockchain in order to be confirmed. The miners are responsible for this. So, what exactly is a blockchain? But wait, I've not introduced myself. My name is Jude Omano and you are welcome to my channel. I make how-to videos and explainer videos about cryptocurrencies. Make sure you sign up for great content. This video explains how Bitcoin works. The previous video in this series explained why Bitcoin was created. So, the blockchain. The blockchain is a public ledger of all Bitcoin transactions. Consider it as a Bitcoin history book that is updated every 10 minutes. Back to our unconfirmed transactions. Miners will go to work verifying and adding these transactions to their record book, which we refer to as a block. The block cannot be larger than 1 MB in size. Miners add as many transactions as they can fit into the block and then compete to solve a mathematical equation. The first miner to solve the equation correctly will have his block added to the blockchain, continuing the chain. This is why it is called the blockchain. My transaction will receive one confirmation once it is added to the blockchain. The miner will also receive a reward in Bitcoin from both the network fee and the Bitcoin protocol. The remaining miners will receive nothing despite using lots of electricity in this process. This is referred to as proof of work consensus mechanism. The entire process repeats every 10 minutes. I made a detailed video explaining what proof of work is and how it differs from proof of stake. You should not miss that video. The link is in the description box. The nodes are what makes the blockchain so decentralized. A node is a computer that has a complete copy of all Bitcoin transactions from the first block, known as the Genesis block, to the current block. Every miner has a node and anyone can choose to have one. The Bitcoin network is open source, which means that anyone can view the codes but cannot change it. If I attempt to change the Bitcoin code or spend a coin that I have already spent, the blockchain will reject it because there are thousands of nodes to show that mine is incorrect. For example, if I reprint an Oxford dictionary that defines Nigeria as a small country in East Africa, it will be easily identified as a forgery because there are millions of Oxford dictionaries that defines Nigeria as a large country on the coast of West Africa. In this same way, the Bitcoin network cannot be altered or controlled by anyone, not even the creator, because alteration will always be rejected by the network. Let's take a look at some more Bitcoin facts. Bitcoin white paper was released on the 31st of October 2008 by a pseudonymous person or group known as Satoshi Nakamoto. The Bitcoin network went live on the 3rd of January 2009 with the mining of the Genesis block. On February 11, 2011, one Bitcoin was worth $1. Today, at the time of making this video, one Bitcoin is worth $21,000. The total number of Bitcoin that can ever exist cannot exceed 21 million Bitcoins and they are only created through Bitcoin mining. Approximately 19 million Bitcoins have already been mined. There are less than 2 million Bitcoin left to be mined. It will take until the year 2140 to mine them all. This is due to the fact that the number of Bitcoin awarded the winning miner is divided in half every four years. At the Genesis block, 50 Bitcoins was awarded every 10 minutes. After four years, it was halved to 25 BTC, which was later halved to 12.5 BTC, and most currently 6.25 BTC. Keep in mind that the winning miner for each block receives only 6.25 BTC regardless of the number of miners 
competing for that block. Bitcoin cannot be printed. A Bitcoin wallet is required to store Bitcoin. Wallets are classified into two types, cold and hot wallets. With hot wallets, your Bitcoin is held by a third party, such as an exchange, and you have an access to it via a password. With cold wallets, you have complete and sole custody of your Bitcoin via your private key. But if someone else knows your private key, they can use it to get access to your Bitcoin. Bitcoin makes it simple to send money to anyone anywhere in the world. No KYC is required and transactions can be confirmed in as little as 10 minutes. Bitcoin mining is extremely energy intensive, consuming more than 100 tetra hour of electricity per year. This is more energy than Argentina and United Arab Emirates consumes. Ethereum will soon switch to proof of stake, which will reduce its energy consumption by 99.99%. There is a lot more to say about Bitcoin, but I will stop here. I've left a lot of resources in the description box below. Ethereum is next in this video series. Make sure you click the sub button and I'll see you in the next one.